because we live in a world that everybody gets a participation award. And that's not real life. You have kids, you have kids that have, you know, been playing soccer since they've been three years old and have made varsity when they're a freshman and they've given, you know, they, 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 they practice in soccer like they have a part-time job for their whole life. Um, that's just an example. There's other things. But let, I'm gonna start off this off because this is how I should have started this off. I am a photographer that works for Life Touch and I do senior portraits, coincidentally. And coincidentally, I will be here next week doing senior portraits for the class of 2019. I go to different schools. I go from schools all the way from New Hampshire um, all the way down to North Carolina. And I see many different attires for different <coughs> schools. And I will tell you, when I do schools that have stoles and have cords and have that, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Nothing, instead of looking green, white. Um, things are changing now. I mean, even to be honest with you, girls in white, boys in green, schools aren't doing that anymore because of gender identity and, and that kind of thing. Everybody's in the same color. Um, but I just don't see what's wrong with showing students accomplishments. Is it because we're afraid of hurting the person's feelings that doesn't have a stole or doesn't have a cord or doesn't have a sash? I guess that's my question. Um, I don't see what's wrong with showing students accomplishments. If that's what it boils down to, that everybody has to look unified, I, I, then let National Honor Society should have more than a tassel. That is a huge accomplishment. They should have that gold cord. They should have, National Honor Society has a beautiful, beautiful um, hood that is worn. It has the National Honor Society emblem on it. It is gorgeous. I take these kids' pictures with that and the gold cord. It is beautiful. They deserve that. They've worked very hard for that. Um, so it's not just about the kids in the military. If you're talking about that, it, every kid should be shown their accomplishments and not just being in plain green and plain white. So just a thought for future years. That's all. Thanks. Uh, Sue Furlong, West Rock Hill Township. Uh, this was discussed last year, and a portion of the rules concerning this are in state law, and therefore that guides our administration. When this came up last year, and there was a lack of guidance, and therefore we sort of fumbled this at the last minute, it would have been the right time for the policy committee to jump in there and say, we need a policy to fill in where the state law drops off. And I believe Ms. Miller was in charge of that policy committee. I believe it was Mrs. Banis Clemens. Well, Ms. Banis Clemens. So that is what this board needs to do. Give some guidance about recognizing the special accomplishments of the different students. And I agree with this woman. If you participated and you worked hard and you earned an honor, you know, we get them up here in front of the board meeting, and there's like five people in the room. I capture it on the video, but I'm an amateur. That you know, let them celebrate graduation, including what they have accomplished in the last 12 years. Um, I didn't like the remark. I'm on the way out. Well, you're on the stage, and until the day you resign, every last one of you is a board member and needs to do what's right. That's no excuse. If, you're, if you've already resigned mentally and emotionally, get off the stage now. I would like to share that I support I'm not, excuse me. I supported wearing the sashes. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. Your remark was, I'm on the way out. If you're on that far, if you're that far removed that it's everybody else's fault but yours, then you need to get off the stage and let them govern. Because you're blaming eight other people as if you had no uh, ability to participate or to move things forward. So if you don't have that ability, get off the stage. Now, as far as the sashes, 
I would rather err, err on the side of allowing a student, maybe let's say there's 42 people who right now have expressed a uh, concern and the desire to join the military. And we let 42 students wear that sash. One of them has an illness in the family or something and never signs that piece of paper. I would rather err on the side of letting one or two people wear that sash that may ultimately not have deserved it than to deny it to the other 39. Those people's intent is to guard us, protect us, reserve our freedoms. And I don't care what stage of that process they're in. If that's their intent, then recognize it. And as for the plain vanilla green and white with no other accoutrements on their robe, I think that's laziness. That's really easy, simple. This is what you can wear. I'm almost done. This is what you can wear. Don't bother us with the rest of it. That's wrong. Real wrong. Let these kids show their accomplishments. Thank you. Any other comments? <coughs> okay. Okay, this is just the stuff now from the Sarsville Borough. You only allow to speak once during the period, unless it's okay by the entire board. That's just our regular policy. Is it okay? <laughs> Thank you. So I was in contact with multiple recruiters today through the Marine Corps, the Army National Guard, Active Army, Army Reserve Components. These recruiters will have sashes and pins on hand because that is what happens in the office. If you go into an office, you see t-shirts, you see backpacks, you see just stuff that they hand out. The sashes are on hands in the recruiting office. Now, speaking for other military members that I go to drill with and stuff like that as well, because they are not as upfront about this, because they don't want to voice their opinion, because they're scared of lashback. It's times have changed, you know. Ms. Glenn, Mrs. Glenn Denning said it. The times have changed. Graduation is supposed to be one of the most happiest days that a senior can have. We've been waiting for this for 12 years, and it's one of the most uplifting days that we could ever wish for. We've worked so hard for it. It's supposed to be a fun time, not a uniformity time. And I know I'm going to get disagreements on it. I know I might get agreements on it. But it's about expressing yourself, expressing your achievements. Not everybody has to wear the same thing. Everybody has to be the same. It's not 1943, it's not 1987, it's 2018. Times have changed. Thank you. This is the last time I'll be up. Thank you. <laughs> I apologize. Any other questions or comments? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I just want to respond to a few things. Um, as far as bringing up honoring other accomplishments, that is a discussion that we had as a result of this topic. Um, we're not going to make those changes, obviously, a week before graduation, but it is um, on our radar and we're hoping to have discussions on that in the fall so that um, we can decide where, you know, what, what things to include in um, and, and allow people to wear different things for. Um, as far as the comment about the, po the policy committee, um, the procedure for getting something onto a, an agenda was that you, it either had to be put on by the administration or you had to contact at least four other board members and get support from four other board members to be able to add it onto the agenda. So even though it, it wasn't necessarily up to the committee chair. Even the chair could not put something on the committee unless they had um, four other people who agreed to put it there. Um, and you had said about taking it as an insult. I, I think we're, we are agreeing with you. I, you know, I think um, all we're saying is we want to verify that we can do it. And if we can do it, then um, 
I think the administration will be in contact with you, hopefully tomorrow, um, to let you know. Okay. Uh, we just don't want to get into a situation where some of you can and then some of you can't get it, and then we're back to what you're concerned about today, which is that you know you feel like certain people can and you can't. So we just want to make sure that everyone can get them, so everyone um, can be included. About three quarters of us do have them already. You have them already. Right. Well. The administration can touch base with you tomorrow, but I think um, you know that can be the conversation is working, discussing with them if, if that's something they can make sure that everyone has them or can get them. Then I you know I don't see there being any issues. Okay. Um, I mean I'm I'm comfortable saying I'm comfortable saying if if the board is comfortable saying that um, you know pending everyone being able to get them in time. You know, we're okay with you wearing them. Is that's that's my sense. If anyone else would like to speak up, otherwise, feel free. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Oh. All right. Thank you very much. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Okay. Motion from Mrs. Kildary, seconded from Mr. Krause. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.